Hey guys, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at some of the hardest bosses in Dark Souls. We're going to be counting down 10 of them. But remember, it's important to note that the, the list that I'm going to be naming off is based on the general consensus among players and does not take into account personal preference or playstyle, right? It's also important to note that the game offers a lot of bosses that are very hard, and it could be difficult to make a list of top 10 hardest bosses, but... We're going to try our best here. All right. Number 10, Aunt of Sullivan. This boss fight in Dark Souls 3, it's considered one of the most difficult in the game as it requires players to fight a powerful and skilled opponent who wields two great swords, the profane ultra great sword in his right hand and the great sword of judgment in his left. Number nine, the soul of cinder. The soul of cinder is the final boss of Dark Souls 3 which is a multi-phase fight that requires players to adapt to different fighting styles, as the boss will switch between the fighting styles of the previous Lords of Cinder. Number eight, the Four Kings. The Four Kings is a boss fight in Dark Souls is considered one of the most difficult in the series, as it requires players to fight four powerful enemies at the same time in a small arena. Each King has its own unique moveset and must be defeated simultaneously in order to proceed. Number seven, the gaping dragon. The gaping dragon boss fight in Dark Souls is considered one of the most difficult in the series as it requires players to fight a giant dragon that can cause massive damage and has a variety of moves that can be difficult to predict. Number six, Calamite. This boss fight in the DLC, Atarius of the Abyss for Dark Souls is considered one of the most difficult in the game as it requires players to fight a powerful dragon that can cause massive damage and has a variety of moves that can be difficult to predict, just like the Gaping Dragon. Number 5. The Bed of Chaos This boss fight in Dark Souls is one of the most difficult in the series, as it requires players to navigate a dangerous and unstable arena while fighting a powerful boss. The boss can cause massive damage, and it is very predictable with the ground that you are standing on which can be a very hard fight and can cause a lot of new players to stumble at first. Number four, Artarius the Abyss Walker. This boss fight in the DLC Artarius of the Abyss for Dark Souls is considered one of the most difficult in the game as it requires players to fight a powerful and skilled knight who wields a great sword and can summon dark energy. Number three, the Abyss Watchers. This fight in Dark Souls 3 is challenging due to the multiple enemies that must be defeated simultaneously. The Abyss Watchers are fast, aggressive, and have a variety of moves that can be difficult to predict. Number 2. The Nameless King This boss fight in Dark Souls 3 is considered one of the hardest in all the series, as it requires players to fight a dragon mount and its rider in a fast-paced battle. The dragon mount is relentless and can cause massive damage while the rider has a more powerful moveset and can summon lightning bolts. The fight is a two part as first you take on the dragon. Once you defeat the dragon, you have to move on to the nameless king, which then he turns into a melee lightning master lord. <laughs> so that's number two. All right. Number one, Ornstein and Smo. Come on. You guys had to know I was going to put that. This boss fight in Dark Souls requires players to fight two powerful bosses at the same time in a small arena. Both Ornstein and Smo have unique movesets and must be defeated at the same time in order to proceed. Now, by defeating Ornstein or Smo, one of them or the other will die and the other one will become powered, gaining a lightning type ability, which then will basically wreck you and want you to give up on Dark Souls. And then eventually go summon Solera to help you with the fight because you can't defeat them. <laughs> Alright guys, this is my most powerful bosses in all of Dark Souls. I want to hear your list in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Please like the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.